welcome to our next video in our Photoshop Basics series. And today we're going to go over two requests that I've been given. So we're going to create a new file and make sure it's the mentions of merch. Now one thing I'd like to show you is that if you click this icon right here and it'll say save document presets, we can call this merch shirt and make sure it's 4000 by 500 by 5000 by 400. Again, the resolution doesn't matter. Save preset. And now we have this saved. So each time we create a new document, we should just click on saved and then click on this. And automatically we have our merch dimensions right here. And automatically we have our merch dimensions right here. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this over here so I can see part of my desktop and I'm going to open up Photoshop, go to examples. And here is an image of a girl found on pixels and she's kind of jumping up, skipping in the air for excitement. I thought this would be a cool silhouette. I'm going to drag her over here and then I'm going to scale her up. So hold option, alt and shift or just Option Shift or Alt Shift, depending on if you're a Mac or PC, and I'm gonna scale her up so she fills in most of the area. And that's good. So I'm gonna hit Return. Okay, a few people have asked me, how do you create a silhouette of a person out of an existing image? So here we have an image of a girl, she's skipping in the air, and we are gonna convert her into a silhouette for our project. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit W for the quick selection tool and let's see if we can create an outline of her using the quick selection tool. I'm just kind of going to do just a really rough quick outline see how it works and there's a lot of contrast in this image it works really well and it looks like it's doing a pretty decent job so you can see we have her hair and let's see here so yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can see it kind of blurred in her arm with part of the background. So what you can do is hold Alt or Option, and then you can deselect your selection here. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, select. And then I'm just going to deselect here, deselect here, and then deselect this area to make sure we just only get the arm. Deselect this part. And let's see here. So it looks pretty good. I kind of like this selection. Hit the move tool again. Now this image right here, one thing to note is you see this little icon right here? Yes. And if you actually hover over it, that means it's a smart object. So smart objects are cool because you can resize them either really down or really big. And the image quality is going to remain the same actually according to the original image. Now if it wasn't a smart object and I scaled it down and up, it would look a little blurry. So just know that smart objects are a way to preserve the original image because it's like a reference to it. But okay, so now what I'm going to hit is Command J. And what that'll do is that's going to take my selection and it's going to copy it over onto a new layer. So Command or Control if you're on a PC. And there we go. I'm going to hide this layer. And now you can see there's a cutout of the girl. Cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the Command or control if you're on a PC. So command, and you see that little box that shows up? Okay, now I'm gonna click the layer. And what that does, that selects everything in that layer. Really cool, make this full screen so you can see everything. I'm gonna click this to make sure that I have my foreground is black and the background is white. And with this selected, I'm going to hit option delete, or it might be alt delete if you're on a PC. So option delete, and that's gonna turn everything black. Hit command D to deselect it. I'm going to zoom out. I hit Z and then option to zoom out. Hit command T and I'm going to, let's see, we can make her a little big, move her up a little bit. And there we go. Now we have a silhouette of a girl skipping in the air for joy. In fact, we can put text right here. I hit T for the text tool and put jump for joy. I have my love of thunder font. <laughs> I used in the last project and I'm going to hit command T to scale this up and that is pretty cool. Jump for joy. So we have our little graphic element here. 
Okay, and that's how you create a silhouette of a person in an image. I'm going to delete all this and go to the next task. Okay, now another thing I was asked was how do you edit existing PNGs? So someone in our group has this cool PNG, life happens, accordion helps. And what she wants to do is she wants to switch this out. She doesn't want it to say accordion. She wants it to say pumpkin pie. So let's see how we would accomplish this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open this in Photoshop just to make sure I know what the resolution is of this image to make sure it's doable. And if I look down here, I can see it's 4,000 by 500 and 5,000 by 400. So this is just right for merch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this and I'm going to go back to our other file and just paste it in the middle there. And let's see, let's go on and center it. Here's a quick tool to center it. You hit the marquee tool. And if you select the entire canvas, go back to the move tool, make sure you have this layer selected, fix. And we're back to the move tool. And these tools right here are your alignment. Really cool. So if you have multiple layers, you can align them. But right now we just have one layer with a marquee around it. I'm going to hit this button right here. That's going to align it center. And if I hit this one, it's going to align it vertically. So now I know this image is dead center on the canvas. Really cool. Command D to deselect. And now what we want to do, we want to change out the accordion here. So let's zoom in. And the first thing I want to do is make a copy of just this area. And I'm going to do that by selecting the polygon lasso tool. Uh, like I said before, I really like using this tool and I use it frequently. And all I'm doing is I'm just clicking. And it creates a bunch of lines that are all connected together. And it's a really quick way to make a cutout of something. And so here we go, connect the dots. And now we have our marquee. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit Command J to have a copy of this. If I hide this layer, I can see it's copied. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to select this color. So if I hit I, that'll take me to this eyedropper tool. And I'm just gonna select this color right here. Now I'm gonna hit Command and click this layer right here. Now if I hit Option Delete, or I can go up here to click Edit Fill, but I'm gonna use the shortcut this time. Option Delete, and what that'll do is that'll fill this entire selected area with my foreground color. Command D, so now we have a clean area to write new text on. So I'm gonna hit my Text Tool again. I hit T, and let's make sure that it's black right there okay and I'm gonna type pumpkin pie cool and what I'm gonna do is just kind of center it hit command T option shift so I can scale this accordingly and let's kind of fill out the area so now it's kind of there but it doesn't really it's not really going with the flow of the ribbon let's see if we can fix that so I'm selecting this Double click on this layer, make sure it's selected. Now if you go up to your options panel with the text object, and if you click this little icon right here, create warped text. And this is really cool, because here you have a bunch of options to warp your text. And you can see here, so we're just gonna use arc for now. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have the bend at a negative and see if we can get it to match the ribbon. And let's see here. So that's pretty good. I think I'm digging that. Hit the move tool. Let's kind of move it up and maybe scale it up just a little bit. So let's see here and let's see how it compares to the previous one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select these two layers here, put them in a folder. I'm going to call it new text or actually let's be more specific. So it's easier for us pumpkin pie. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is hide this layer and I can see what it looks like underneath it. Now I don't have this font, so I, let's see here, this font looks like it's kind of stretched out horizontally. Let's see if we can do that here. I'm going to hit Command T and just, whoa, okay. Escape will undo what I just did because what I did was I selected the entire grouping so both of these items were affected, both of these layers. This just like the pumpkin pie, Command T. See if we can stretch this out a bit.
they're doing okay that's kind of working um, all right and then what I'm gonna do I noticed there was a bit more spacing so I'm gonna hit this tool right here and oops okay hit return so there you go I hit V and I'm gonna nudge it up with the up arrow key so that's kind of cool the arc now looks a little too extreme one thing I'm gonna do is under character here you can change your kerning. So right now I had my kerning set to 75 for a previous project I was working on. Let's go back to zero. Ooh, that kind of squished everything together. And this is actually the normal kerning for this font. And you can see here this, it fills in the space a little more evenly. So maybe what we can do is add a little bit more kerning here. So I'm just gonna do maybe 25. And let's see how that, oops, I need to select this layer. No, we'll do switch this to about 25. Yeah, seems a little more breathing room. Uh, I'm going to center this. Now this arc is a bit too much since we stretched the chest. The arc is a bit too much, so let's kind of lessen that bend just a bit. Maybe there. And I'm going to squeeze this down. Let's zoom out. I hit Z and Option to zoom out. And let's see here. You know, that's not too bad. I think it works. Okay. So that's how you would edit the text.